Welcome, to Mr. Recapped. The title of the film I'll be discussing today is Suicide Shop 2012. The film is set in a city full of depressed and sad people. They don't want to live. That location has a high death rate. Because the people there do not believe it is necessary to live. People commit suicide. In this case, a shop called the Suicide Shop opens up. They sell items that can be used to commit suicide. People's possessions, such as swords, ropes, and poisons, can be used to commit suicide. The shop is run by a couple, and many people come in every day. They have two children. They assure their parents that the items sold in our shop are proving beneficial to people contemplating suicide. The four were unconcerned after selling items in their shop and seeing the people dying. This is their business. Their home was then blessed with the birth of a son. They named him Alan. Unexpectedly, he looks happy after being born in this situation. His siblings, his parents, and the people in his surroundings all were sad. But he stays happy. He keeps smiling all the time. One day, an elderly lady comes into this shop to purchase some items because she wants to commit suicide. But she becomes happy after seeing this cute kid Alan. Because the kid was smiling. Her mood becomes good after seeing this smile. She changes her plan to commit suicide. This was a bad thing for those shop owners. If the death rate will decrease who will buy their things. They forbid their baby to smile. They try to make his face sad because they used to stay sad all the time. But the kid always wants to smile. The couple says to the old lady to leave while giving her a rope. It is better for you to commit suicide, it means, what will you do with your life now that you're alive? With it, they also become worried, how to stop their son. Many years passed in this manner. Their son has grown elder. They were happy because of their business. As well as also worried. If their son continues to spread smiles like this, their business will be closed down one day. People will not like to commit suicide. Alan makes happy drawings. It shows that he wants to see his family always happy. His family forced him to make sad drawings, so our customers will attract. Their strategy was to maintain the depressing environment. So the people will become depressed and buy things from them. Their son Alan doesn't agree with it. Now, Alan uses to say that I will destroy this shop. Or I will leave this place. I will persuade the people that their lives are vital. Alan thinks that he will destroy everything tonight. When everyone was sleeping he goes into the shop secretly. Then a customer arrives and his father awakes, his father notices his hidden son when he comes to provide the bullet. Definitely, he will do something wrong. That was a good task because he was about to destroy everything. Alan's father locks his son into a room, he warns him not to think this way again. The next day, we notice Alan going to school. A man commits suicide coming in front of their school bus. At that time, when Alan was happy with his friend while singing. He was broken after seeing this, why people are committing suicide. He also becomes furious about his family and says to his friend I am in anger, that we sell the things from which people are committing suicide, look, we were happy, why people didn't stay happy. Why didn't they realize that life isn't like that? Alan decides with his friends that he will fix speakers in the city and play music, so the soul of the people will refresh after hearing it. They will not think about committing suicide. But his father also hears this. He says to him Alan, come here and gives him a pack of cigarettes. He requests that he smoke. Alan is a kid so he obeys his father. As he smokes he feels it good. His father becomes happy seeing it, thank God, he will now also become negative. He will intake drugs so his friends will also and will die soon. I am shocked seeing this, how a father can think this for his son. But they only want to run their business. When Alan moves to his shop at night there was his sister's birthday. You'll be shocked after knowing the birthday theme. The environment was so depressed that it didn't seem like a birthday. It seems like someone is dead. Her cake was in a coffin's shape. The gifts were also strange but when Alan gives his gift it was so good. He gives a pink scarf to his sister and was so cute. With it, he also gifts her a music tape, his sister likes it a lot. He tells his sister to wear this scarf whenever she listens to music. And when you will wear it then dance, you will look pretty. Alan spends his evenings with his friends and smokes. He was telling them look, these cigarettes are given to me by my father. He said I will be fine after smoking. His friends claim while snatching cigarettes from him, he said something inappropriate to you. Can your father give you anything that isn't related to suicide? It is the same as gradually killing oneself. Alan gets shocked after hearing this. Then he sees his sister is dancing. They see her shadow from the window and stares aside from Alan. Everyone else in their house is dancing like this for the first time. Alan becomes happy after seeing his sister dancing like this. That my sister is not depressed today. On the other side, 
we see the owner of the suicide shop, their father he was on the verge of drinking the poison because he was fed up with his life. His wife stops him. She says no, we need you. Who will run our shop? The people have to buy things from you for committing suicide. She brings him to a therapist. The therapist tells her that the condition of her husband is worse. He is feeling depressed, but he couldn't tell because his mental condition is worse. The therapist says to the lady, means Alan's mother you have to remove the negative environment surrounding him. He suggests Alan's father the bed rest for two weeks. Further, it is shown that their father is on bed rest. A customer visits their shop for buying a massive heavy stone. Because he wants to commit suicide while jumping into the stream. Alan lifts up the stone for him and chases him. In the shop, Alan's mother discovers his diary. There was his sister's drawing made by Alan when she was dancing. She also notices his daughter blowing bubbles. This was also given by Alan. She becomes happy seeing that her daughter is staying happy. Depression is decreasing. This shift in her thinking is possibly due to her husband's worsening health. And definitely, this is a good thing. Then Alan is shown with that man, he goes with him willingly to make him feel good. Here, Alan finally succeeds. The man didn't commit suicide he likes Alan's conversation. Alan says to his friend, that we have a good chance we can make people feel that committing suicide is a bad thing. The good news was that his father's ears were being probed. Due to it, he wasn't listening to the outside voices. He was on bed rest and will not forbid his son to do anything. Alan goes to his uncle. His uncle uses to do some mechanical work. Alan asks him to fix a speaker in a car. So he will play music in it and will make the youth feel good. This thing will be removed from their minds that committing suicide is important, soon they complete their task, Alan parks the car outside the shop and plays loud music in it, due to it, the thing starts shaking inside the shop. The things fall down. The things there were damaging. This was a good thing. Because of suicide things will decrease and it is beneficial. Meanwhile, a boy comes to their suicide shop. He starts liking Alan's sister. They start dancing together. On the music which Alan played in the car outside. They feel good. He forgets the boy who came to the shop to buy suicide items. He likes Alan's sister, he asks her that I want to marry you. Alan's mother come in anger that her shop is ruining so she stops the music from the car. The people who are dancing in the shop leave, some people bring the things for committing suicide. It means that they were happy for a short period of time. The boy who likes Alan's sister will not commit suicide now, he says to Alan's mother I liked your daughter I want to marry her. The girl also requests her mother, she agrees and allows them to get married. Alan tells his mother that if this happens before they can live happily ever after. It is not necessary to open the suicide shop we can open any other shop, the boy gives them an idea that what kind of new shop can be open? He also makes food for them and they enjoy it. Alan's father also feels the aroma of the food. He comes downstairs, comes enraged while noticing the changed environment of the shop. Alan says to him don't be angry there isn't any fault of his mother and sister. All fault is mine. Alan's father picks up the sword in anger and chases him to kill him. Because Alan has ruined his business. Alan's mother becomes concerned when she sees his husband chasing after her son. She also runs with him. For preventing her husband from murdering Alan. She says if you will harm my son I will kill myself. But it doesn't matter for him. They reach at a top of a building, being emotional Alan says to his father, I love you so much I will do the same you want you want me to suicide I will do it he jumps from the building after saying this. His parents feel strange because of it. That's what he's done, isn't it? Alan's father is heartbroken because his son committed suicide as a result of him. Then Alan flips upside down while jumping. He imitates his father so he will become happy. When Alan's father notices that my son is alive and imitating me, he laughs a lot. With it, Alan's mother also laughs. They were happy being together. They recognize the significance of happiness in a person's life. Alan's father is happy for the first time since his recovery from depression actually, this was Alan's plan. His friends were already on the other side of the building. So when Alan will jump there will be cloth in their hand. Alan will bounce while falling on it and nothing will happen to him. Alan was also successful in this plan. Then we see the scene in the shop where Alan's sister and good boy marry. Now they think this shop will be turned into a cafe. The new dish that the boy made becomes the best dish in the cafe. The people also like it. Alan inspires and delights the visitors. The city's death rate decreased as a result. It gradually decreases. The people stay happy. The cafe is shown in the last scene of the file. Alan was making everyone happy by singing and dancing some souls also came from that cafe and were having a good time. The city's environment had completely changed. 
Alan and his friends play a significant role. This is the end of the film. I hope you found the explanation useful. Thank you for your time.